Hello everybody, time for an update. Way past, way past due on updates. Last time we spoke, I gave you my big fat plan on how I was gonna put the trailer wiring together and show you how to put the backup camera on and whatever I said, a bunch of stuff. None of it's happened. Here's what's going on. This upload is today. Today is Saturday the 16th. A group of us were gonna head down to Mexico. A few of us, I don't wanna make it into a big group caravan thing, but a few of us were gonna head down there and it looks like we still are. Jessica can't get her passport. They wanted more information from her uh, for whatever reason. She's had three or four passports in the past, but now they want uh, all this proof. Anyway, there's a few hubs that you can get passports at immediately, and it just so happens one of them is in Tucson, and that's where they sent her paperwork. They could have sent her paperwork to San Diego. They could have sent it to Virginia. It just happened to get sent to Tucson. So she's going to leave for Tucson probably tomorrow morning with all of her documentation. It's going to take her a few days to get her uh, passport actually issued to her. I'm not sure how she's going to do that. I guess she'll go down and pick it up. But there are some casinos in the Tucson area that last I checked, last I did it, allowed camping. So that's what's going on with her. Basically, all I've done since I saw you last is work on my taxes. I switched over to uh, this program called Zero. I put it up in my last video. And so I've just been going in and getting all my stuff set up on that. Tell me, as a self-employed person, in the comments, if you think I should switch from Zero and migrate my stuff over to TurboTax or one of these other tax services. Usually, I just go to irs.gov, I get uh, forms that can populate through PDF uh, witchcraft on the internet and print them out and mail them in, but um, I wanna make this as streamlined as possible. All I've been doing over the last few days is meticulously accounting for everything to make this as streamlined as possible moving forward. There was a lady helping me I mentioned before, Kathy. I went and saw her. She saw what I was going through as a person that has YouTube as a income source, a primary income source. I'm not out here on a trust fund. I'm not out here because I you know, sold my house when pot went legal in California. Wish I would have done that. But, so I'm, I'm out here generating uh, funds on YouTube. She's helping me, she's a bookkeeper on zero and I'm gonna figure out and I'll take your suggestions whether I should start migrating it over to TurboTax and get it in. Ma main thing is I'm like this close to having it all done so now I'm gonna start doing some things around here. I don't have to wire my trailer lights for my trailer to move. Like technically you should be able to have uh, lights and everything but during the daytime if I just wanna get it down someplace and get it in storage I'm gonna move some things around in it so uh, I have more tools than I originally thought. I'm working right now with Battleborn. I'm gonna try to see if I can switch my battery system over to Battleborn lithium batteries. And I'm also gonna do some changes on my solar controller. Right now I've got the Blue Sky 3000i. I'm gonna move over to one of the Victron models. Uh, my Blue Sky 3000i is maxing out at 30 amps because I wired it in series. And as you know, when you wire things in series, the amps are additive and the voltage stays the same so it's 12 volts and I'm maxing out my uh, 10 hog wire on the ampers anyway I don't want to get into too much digression I just wanted to give you an update of what's going on today I'm uh, trying to get some more administrative paperwork things handled I, I, I owe some paperwork to Diane from Battleborn to uh, get the uh, battery thing going underway. Hopefully I can get, get them before I leave. I may not be able to. And if I do, I do have some, if I am able to get them, I do have some batteries that are not in terrible condition that I'm gonna gift to uh, Randy, who is in one of my videos. He's uh, He might have a good home for them. Anyway, that's the update. 
I haven't worked out in a week. I feel fat. I've been drinking beer. I've been just like looking at my computer, looking up records, printing out this, printing out that. And so now I'm getting ready to live back more so in the 3D world. And I'm kind of excited about that. But so that's what's going on. I'll start filming more as we're doing like going down there and all the stuff that goes with it. Uh, if you're a YouTuber or if you're somebody who's self-employed or you're just not sure what to do about your taxes, Kathy's putting together a, hey, I'm a YouTuber and I need to get my taxes done, pack it. And she's somebody that can be contacted through Skype. We don't have to go visit her in person. And I think there's going to be some preferential pricing that she'll put together for all this. So if it's something that's been a confusing area for you and you've been watching this and you know, you, you're a YouTuber and you want to keep on the up and up, stay tuned because I'm going to give out some of her contact information and she's looking to put a turnkey thing together in layman's terms. We had conversations and I'm just like, what, what? So she's going to make it in layman's terms for guys like us. If uh, taxes aren't your wheelhouse, looks like somebody's coming up in a uh, buggy. I'm out here in the desert overstaying my welcome in Lake Havasu. I love this place, but it's time to get on. So with that, I'll wrap the video up. Hope you guys are doing well. And yes, we are going down to, uh, to uh, Baja, California. I'm going to film a ton of it and give you an ex uh, idea of what that experience would be like. Oh, got the drone, by the way. Opened it up. I have a drone story that I'm going to tell you. I haven't even fired it up yet. Number one, it's been really windy out here and I'm a novice. Number two, I have a little history about stuff like drones that I'll share with you that is making it apprehensive for me to fire that thing up. It costs like 1300 bucks. I put on a credit card and I have a little bit of anxiety around sending it up into the sky after, you know, that kind of money. But... We'll leave that for another video. All right, talk to you soon.